Hey, what's up everyone? Keith Locke here, um, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I want to explain how to set up, uh, how to quickly set up WordPress um, so that you can start selling products um, through your website. And with, with this particular tool that we're going to use, we're going to be using Tips and Tricks WordPress Simple PayPal Shopping Cart plugin. And with that particular plugin, um, we can realistically get up and running and have a store available within about 10 minutes. It's, uh, it's very fast. It uses PayPal um, for the payment processing, so the security liability is passed on to PayPal, and it gives us the ability to accept payments with, um, of course, with PayPal and also with credit cards. For people that don't have a PayPal account, they're able to make their purchases with, purchases with credit card. And here's the beginnings of um, what I did for to set up the store, and it took just a few minutes. And what it is, I, it's a default WordPress installation. I'm using the 2015 uh, WordPress theme. I just customized it slightly, just did some basic customizations, um, removed some of the widgets from the sidebar, and I created a couple pages here. I'll show you. Um, I just created two pages. One's an empty page currently, um, which is a store page, and then I also created the shopping cart page. Um, which you can see here, and then you can see in the navigation here, these are the pages that show up. All right, and then I also made it I, under settings reading, I made it so that the store page becomes the front page because typically uh, the front page shows the, mo the most recent blog posts um, 10 by default, but I set it so that our store page will be the home page instead. All right, and you can do that right in the reading settings there. All right, um, beyond getting WordPress installed and adding a couple pages, the first thing you want to do is get the shopping cart plugin installed. All you got to do is download it. Um, it's a zip file. Then you go to plugins. I already added it. We click on add new, upload, choose file. Double click the zip file, open it, activate it, and then it becomes it shows up in the list of plugins and then you just have to click on settings to get to the settings page but you can also find that under the settings menu here WP shopping cart and then you can see all the orders that are placed in this section here so I'm going to go to the settings page and there's really only a couple things that you need to set up initially you obviously need to put in the PayPal email address of the account that you want to accept payments with and then you can configure your currency, currency symbol, depending on where you're at. Um, the base shipping cost by default is zero, but if you want to set it, you can set shipping on a per product basis, but if you just want to create a base shipping cost, you can put that value in there. And then just scroll to the bottom and click on update. Now, there's a couple of, there's one other setting that um, it's probably nice to customize even for your first, um, even for a, a simplified store and what you can do is create a thank you page that PayPal will redirect your customers to immediately after purchase after a successful payment and you can you can create a new page there and then just paste the URL for that page in this box here otherwise you can just leave it and by default they'll redirect back to your home page which is nice because that's our store page but it's also nice to um, thank the customer maybe try to upsell them or something like that um, that's beyond the scope of this video, but I just wanted to point out that you can control what the thank you page or the return URL is. You just have to paste that URL in this box here. All right, and now this is the short code that I pasted into the shopping cart page. So when there's actual products in the shopping cart, the short code will display that information. All right, and now I also added. Um, you can see in the media library, I added some images for different products um, that I'm going to be selling on this in the store. But I'm also going to add a add to cart button. Um, there's add to, there's an add to cart button that exists. Um, there's default add to cart buttons that you can use. Um, I just want to show you that you can customize that as well. Now once the image is uploaded, um, you just have to click on it and double click in there. 
copy that to the clipboard so that's going to be that's the URL that leads directly to this button and then we can go to back to the settings for WP shopping cart and then there's a field in here where we can update it you can either have add to cart text or you can paste in the URL for the button so we're going to paste that URL in there and then there's also a huge resource of buttons that you can find here on the tips and tricks HQ website just by following this link here so at the bottom I'm just going to click on update options so that's going to be our new button that's going to be used all right so now this is a short code to display the products so I'm going to go back to the store page and I'm going to add a picture of one of the products that we want to sell. Alright, now I don't know what this is called. Uh, my son calls it the Conehead Zombie, so I'm sure that's what it is. Then we can put whatever we want in there. 29.95, whatever we want. But the actual button, in order to get the button to show up, we put that information there. So let's uh, okay. Let's just take a look on the website to see how that actually shows up. So I'm going to click on update on the home page. All right, let's have a, have a look on the website here. All right, and there it is with our add to cart button. So that's going to show up. So now I can click on that. And now it's in the shopping cart. I can head to the shopping cart page and see that I have the Conehead Zombie in there. That, and then we can make the purchase. So when somebody checks out with PayPal, like I said, they have the option to pay with their PayPal account or any of the credit cards that show up here. And that money will instantly show up in your PayPal account. It's really that simple. I'm going to add a couple more products before I close out here. And then uh, I'll leave you to it. It's very simple. You can really realistically have a small store set up within about 10 minutes. Uh, I mean, buy some hosting, install WordPress, install this simple shopping cart plugin, get a PayPal account, upload some images, create a page, and um, start adding your products. What are we going to sell this one for?